Hi there, and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to be looking at the Sirius by MSA. It is a four gas detector with the PID. And calibration gas we're going to be using today is 20 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 60 parts per million carbon monoxide, I don't know if you can see that or not, and then 1.45% methane by volume, which equals out to being 29% LEL methane or 58% if you're on a pentane scale. So oxygen is going to be 15%, and then you're going to need another cylinder of isobutylene. Isobutylene we're going to be using is 100 parts per million. And if you can see that there. So, without any further ado, let's get started here. Monitor is fairly simple. You can hear the pump on, pump that comes on is in the back. And first part of what we're doing, I'm just going to show you guys how to attach the cylinder here. First thing to do is to unscrew the regulator. So you see if it's screwed closed, you want to open it up this way. Next, take your regulator, screw it in here. Now, this only really applies if you're using a regulator like I am. It has an outflow port on it. Most likely, if you're calibrating this, you guys will have a demand flow regulator with you already. And that will take care of the calibration here with no problems. So in that case, what you'll do is you just take the regulator, screw it right on. There's no knobs to turn or anything like that. Now, in my case, when you hear a gas, go ahead and turn the regulator off. There we go. Continue screwing it in. And now you're going to notice a port on the top here. This is where we're going to be connecting the gas to once it's time to calibrate. And one of the things, if you have an additional port coming off of here, like if you have something that you're going to be screwing into, just make sure that when you screw it in, it's nice and tight. A lot of times, if you have fittings like this, for instance, they'll be on here. And you'll have to make sure you screw into this thing. Just make sure your fittings all line up. Okay. Okay, first step. I'm going to hold down, there's three buttons. We have your accept button, which is the big one, your page, and your reset. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the reset button. It's going to beep once, and then it'll beep again, saying Cal Zero. What this is going to do is it's going to set the monitor to zero. So that's good. Make sure you're in fresh air and hit accept. Now it's going to go through a zeroing process here. Let's see if you can see the screen here. It'll show 20.8 for oxygen, 0 H2S, 0 CO, 0 LEL, and then it'll give you a pass. And now it's asking for a span cal. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit accept, and then we're going to put the gas tube on here. There we go. And now in my case, I turn the gas on. If you're using a demand flow regulator, it'll automatically begin flowing, so all you have to do is connect it. Hey, first thing you'll notice are the numbers on here are changing. See them all going down here. And you don't really need to watch it, but it's kind of interesting. It, what it's showing is the sensor response to the gas. You can see LEL going up, H2S going up towards 20, and CO is going up towards 60. Watch oxygen. Oxygen will get about down to about 15 point, usually like 15.5 or so like that. Generally, as oxygen tends to degrade, they lose their sensitivity and they'll go down. But uh, sometimes when you get down there, if you've got, say, 15%, it'll only show you that you've gone down to like 18% or so. In that case, it's time to get a new oxygen sensor, unfortunately. But as long as you're about 1% within range, you're going to be in okay shape. Okay, just gave us a pass. So in my case, I'm going to turn the gas off here. In your case, all you're going to do is disconnect this hose here, like that, and now it, it'll stop pulling gas out of the demand flow. It's asking if we want to span Cal the VOC, so we hit accept. Now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this regulator off. I have to open it back up, so I'm not using a demand flow. And now we're going to plug it in. 
the isobutylene cylinder here. Turn it off once you hear gas flowing. In your case, if you're using a demand flow, don't even worry about it. Now what you're going to do is just hook this up right here. Okay, you see it just goes right into the top. And now, I have turned my gas off, but if you're using a demand flow, it just automatically begin flowing gas directly from the regulator. And you can see this is going up relatively quickly. VOC meters, PID detectors, in general, they respond much, much faster than electrochemical sensors. So you're going to see that jump much, much quicker. It's a good thing. So all we have to do now is wait for that to go through. And as it's going up here, I'm just going to quick point out, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you can give us a call here at Ideal Calibrations. Number is 734-956-0539. Okay, now it came up and gave us a pass just then. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So it says, hey, I'm held pass. Please wait. Yeah, I turn off the gas. And now it's showing what the results are. You guys disconnect this hose here at the top. There you go. Now you can watch the numbers fall back down. It's going to go back down to zero. Now if you want to, you can either cal just the isobutylene and cal the PID sensor, or you can just cal the floor gas and without actually zeroing the instrument. But I usually recommend you zero the instrument first, but if you're in bad atmosphere or something, all you do is you hold down the reset button. It's going to ask you to want to zero. Just hit the reset button again. And it'll ask if you want a cal span. And this is for the four gas. Cal span. And this would be for the VOC. So you hit it again. And it goes back to normal operating mode. Okay, here we are. And you'll see the numbers are slowly fading down. And that's it. Right, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or, or a phone call. Number 734-956-0539. And the email address here is james at idealcalibrations.com. You can reach our website, www.idealcalibrations.com, anytime. Thank you very much. And uh, I'd like to send a big thank you out to the Independence Fire Department for letting us borrow the serious monitor to calibrate it. If you guys have a monitor that you'd like to see calibrated that isn't up on our website, go ahead and feel free to send it out to us. We'll give it a free calibration, and I'll put a video up online for you. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day, and be safe.